but Bob was a special person in our life because he was generous with his time and attention. My brother Reed and I grew up in a family with a single parent. My mom raised us because my dad had pretty rugged alcoholism and was out of the picture by the time I was about four years old. And growing up in Texas in the 70s without a dad was a challenge because oftentimes there are father-son fishing trips or father-son hunting trips, and there was always kind of a lump uh, that would come in our throat or a pit in our stomach with w when one of these events was upcoming. But Bob Fleming was generous with his attention and his time to the Bartz boys. There was never a time, uh, there was never a duck hunting trip, there was never a fishing trip, there was never a camping trip where it wasn't Bob Fleming, the Fleming kids, and Jimmy and Reed Bartz. For the last couple of weeks, I've been making my way through David Brooks, the social animal. You know the words that he gives the infant are beautiful. The infant cries out to mother, I am not here. Touch me. I am not here. Touch me so that I know that I am here. Jesus, too, is generous with his attention and his time and his touch. The things that continue to pay a joyful dividend into my life today is that time and that attention and that care. What we really want is your whole heart. And we want you to give that heart away to the people who are in need of that kind of love and that kind of care. Thank you.